Hello and welcome to the second video of the SAP Star Service. If you haven't seen our initial video explaining what the Star Service is, you can always visit the link in the video description below for the initial video. You can also request your own free Star Service consultation on the support portal, also linked in the video description. What is the Authorization Object Analyzer? The Authorization Object Analyzer is a report which can be used by implementing the node 3113382 on your system. The link to this node can also be found in the video description below. Using a set of role and authorization rule sets, the report will be able to view the current classification of your users on the system and simulate the correct user type in the S4HANA license model. This analysis can give you a better understanding of what your license requirement would be on S4HANA and show you the pros and cons of a license conversion. So let's jump right in. You can access the report through transaction SA38 by entering the report name Slim User CLF Help. You will now see a selection screen. Here you can filter by user IDs, the user type, or contractual user type. If you want to see the entire user base of the system, you can leave these empty. Below, you can upload the rule set, which will be used to classify the users. The standard rule set is included in the node and can be used directly in the report. However, for special user definitions in your contract, you can also alter the rule set to account for those. Once the rule set is uploaded, you can execute the report. You can now see all your user types on the system in the leftmost column. As this is a test system, we only see 384 undefined users and 66 developers. These users are now separated into the S4 user types. In this example, the vast majority of users will be professional users, with the exception of one functional and one productivity user. There are also some users which are not classified. This is due to custom Z authorizations which are not included in the standard rule set. As we mentioned before, you can alter the rule set to account for these non-classified users. But for now, let's drill down to the existing users and see why they were classified the way they are. You can drill down on any of those findings by double-clicking on them. Now you can see the individual users and their classification. In this view, you can also click on Display Roles, which will show you all the roles assigned to an individual user. By double-clicking on any of those user IDs, you will drill down further and view the roles which cause this projected classification by the node. In this example, we can see that the user has three roles which are classified as professional and one role which is classified as productivity. The node chooses the highest projected user type which was selected, which is why this user is a professional user in the overall graph. If you want to drill down further, you can also double-click on the roles and view the authorization objects included and how these were classified by the node. Once you have reviewed the results on the system, you can export them directly to your PC for future reference or you can download them as an encrypted file to send to SAP for analysis. I hope I could give you a better understanding of how the Authorization Object Analyzer works and how you can project your own s usage on your current ECC system. If you have any questions about the report, the node, or the star service itself, feel free to request your own consultation on the SAP support portal, which is linked in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.